Hello, hello everyone. This is Ruth the Crafter Mom and today I have a video for you with the Laurel Denise Planner. It's a mini horizontal. So let's start. I love this planner. Um, it's been month one so far and it's been a couple weeks and I've been enjoying this planner so, so, so much. I wanted to film a like a video setup from that but I was so scared I was going to mess up the planner that I decided to do it off camera and now I'm regretting it so starting February I am really hoping I will be able to do the monthly setups of the planner so you guys can check it out with me and get some ideas of what to do, something different, especially from somebody that comes not from uh, planners that they are coil. Um, most of my planners are this bound system. So this is, um, this is totally different from it. Um, I am not new to the coil system, but I haven't used it for years. So, yeah, I'm trying to adapt to this one, but I'm trying to give it my own spin-off. So what I like is, you know, I have the same things as the regular Laura Denise. And I'm putting here little flax that I have. It's my reading fla uh, flax, but I'm going to use them uh, for the following months. So I decided to put it there. Um, I put my name, but... Um, this is a sticker that I got from a custom made name uh, made by um, Planet Darby. And I will put the description, in the description I will put all the links and everything, all of everything that I'm mentioning so you guys know. So in this calendar, what I did is I just marked my paychecks and my husband's paychecks and family um, birthdays and uh, anniversaries and everything related. Now on my goals here, as you can see, I just put my goal for this month is say $500 for Go Wild and 160 savings for my home renovations. I'm trying to do a whole renovation on my apartment just because we are gonna try to get it all on shape so we are able to sell it. Um, and the market is kind of crazy right now, but I think if we do some some stuff here and there, we will be able. So we're trying to budget for that. And then, and things to remember, I just put stuff that I needed to remember that I actually didn't want to put it in the planners, uh, in the other planners, or in the monthly ones. Um, one was the teacher's conference that I had at the beginning of the month and then everything related with uh, cookie delivery that is for Girl Scouts. So it's all over there. And then I put the vacation that we take in August because I really need to have it here in order to ask for my vacations at work. And then we go to January and I decorated this with Planet Darby stickers too. Um, I love it. These are the blooms and I will put it there again, the description so you guys can check it out. And I I didn't went crazy like I usually do when I decorate pages uh, because I want this planner to be more functional, but I also want it to look cute. So I added a couple here and here and a couple in some pages, not in all the pages, uh, so I'm going to show you, just in some of the pages. The most important part of this one that I want to show you is that I color coded and I use, let me show you what I have. I use this uh, highlighters, they are erasable highlighters uh, that Laurel Denise recommends on her web page. And um, I divide it by different things that I do. So all my deals are in purple. All my Zooms or meetings are in light blue. Birthdays are in yellow. And then things that correspond to work are in pink. Now because everything like everything is like kind of purplish this month, I decided to use uh, one of my dot markers in purple that I have over here. And it's this one over here. 
and it's a oh hoo hoo I think that's how you say it dual tip dot pens and I've been using it to make like kind of list of stuff that is happening and this one I decided to put uh, things that I have to do like personal things um, from um, like grocery shopping like you see here my uh, friend's birthday and I had to text him, uh, meetings, uh, people that I had to call, everything that has like even my bills and everything, all that stuff. If it's checked, it means that I did it. If it's not checked like these two, it means that I didn't do it. So that's something that I will pass to the next week as well. And then in this one, I divided in two. This part is all work related between my husband and me. So it shows my days off, my days that I work, and then the days that he works and where he works. Because he works for an agency that has to do something with the government, they send him to different places. So I really need to know where he is so I can adapt my schedule uh, and my meals to that situation specifically and over here I just put my meals for the uh, for the week so we are meal planning um, this is something that I've been doing for a while but not consistency not with consistency I mean and it's been very hard uh, because sometimes it's like I don't know what I'm eating and uh, I have wrote a list and then I rewrite it and whatever. So I am trying my hardest to follow this list and it's working out. And that's helping me also for other stuff. And I wanted to show you also what pens am I using for uh, writing my black pens. So most of the time I'm using this Friction a Clicker 0.7 and it's an, er it's an erasable pen. And, and then I also have this one that is a Friction Ball Slim 0.38. I don't like it that much, but I use them. I think I use it for, for something else. I don't remember what part of it here I use it for. And I'm also using this one over here that is a 0.35. All of them I will put in the description so you guys can see it too as well. Um, and then we go like I have my second week and everything and then I have all written down what we had to do and everything for the week again it has here my uh, meals of the week and I, I have planned my whole month already especially in what it has to do with uh, bills and places that I have to be and meetings that I have it's all here and um, up to the end of the month specific tasks I don't have them yet because obviously I try to do them like at least every Sunday or in this case I do it every Saturday because this planner starts on Sunday so I try to map up the whole week at least one day before the week starts in this planner and then we have this one I really love this about this planner and I put all of these days so all of these things over here of these habit trackers so my first one is notebook purchase then I have dinners at home take your pills journal posting on social media and no Starbucks day so I am trying to cut up on my Starbucks uh, intake it's been crazy uh, last month was crazy how much I think I can own a Starbucks <laughs> at this point so i'm trying to cut it down in the amount of money that i'm investing there because obviously i want to invest it somewhere else which is my house uh and i'm trying to count how many days so so far i only had starbucks two days and it's good so so far so good i still have to update this one for today uh today is the 10th so I have to update these things over here. Um, so let's just do it together right now. So notebook purchases, dinners at home, we had it. Take your pills, I took my pills. I journal also. And then I post on social media and I can have Starbucks today. So it's all updated up to date and everything. And then 
I love these markers too, also. They're so cute. And I have here what I want to do for the month. Those are my goals. Let me just move it over here so you guys can see it. So this is my goals for social media and then my goals and things that I have to do through the month. So these come from this other planner. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so this is from this planner. And this planner is my Franken planner. And this one has the whole map of stuff that I want to do through the year, through the month, and everything. And it's divided by certain things. As you see, I have done already a couple things. That's what they are marked like that. And um, I divide it between uh, next steps. So that means that I am going to do them and I have, I have to schedule them. Waiting on is that I'm waiting for a person to do it for me. Projects is something that it has different, you know, tasks involved. And someday is something that I want to do maybe, maybe one day, but it's nothing that is really necessary. So I grabbed the task that I thought I could do this month and I passed them over here. And then once the month ends, I am going to check out and see if I did them. If I didn't do them, I will pass them for the next month. But it's stuff that I can definitely do. Uh, this, this week, I probably will be able to do most of them. Uh, I'm waiting for the bathroom ceiling. Uh, it, I, it's not up to me. It's up to my upstairs landlord. So once this person you know fix what they're supposed to fix there i will be able to check it out but i already called them over here in this week i called them i called them on january 3rd so as of right now that we are january 10th i haven't seen anything like him coming and checking it out as he said he was so i'm going to give him a couple more days and this is probably by tuesday i will put here that i have to call him again to see when is he coming to check out this and um this is it for the month of january so so far this is what i have now at the end of the planner there's a note section and I have these pages over here. So what I thought I am going to do is um, something really nice. I have my word of the year and I'm going to show you. So I have my word of the year that Planet Darby also um, used, you know, oh, she, she did it herself and she did it for me. <laughs> And I am going to put it here and I'm going to mark the different um, aspects in my life that it need consistency. And I think it will be like a good reminder and something that I want to do with this here. Um, and I think that will be for it for right now. I have a couple of other things that I want to put in this planner. Uh, Laura Denise just released a couple of freebies on her Facebook group. So if you're not part of her Facebook group, go ahead and go there. The people over there are so nice. They are so encouraging. And um, I love the group that they have there. And she just released a couple things that you can print out in the mini size and in the regular size and just put it on your planner. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a couple of extra pages. And I will show you next month when I set up my February month, how am I doing that? So this is it for today. It was a small video, but I think it was a, a very good video, very interesting for people that are wanting to know more about Laura Denise and how you can use the planner. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and to my returning viewers. Thank you so much for being here. See you next time. Bye.